Philip should school could use these stainless steel trays because plastic is really bad for you. Kids excited over stainless steel lunch trays? Well, they are at the Orchard School in Marion County. That's because an Indianapolis pediatrician who, and mom who launched her own line of stainless steel dinnerware for kids is now taking a bite out of a new market, school cafeterias. Her mission is for schools to toss plastic trays that she says are harmful to kids' health. Business of Health reporter Kylie Valletta has more. Kylie. Thanks, Gary. We first introduced you to her homegrown company called Ahimsa two years ago when she launched dishware for kids to use at home that's made out of stainless steel. And now Dr. Manasa Matravati is hungry for change in the school cafeteria, the second most common place where kids eat. And she has the first school on board now dishing out meals on the new lunch trays made from 100% stainless steel. Joining me now to update us is Ahimsa Chief Executive Officer and Founder Dr. Matravati. Thank you for being on the show and welcome back. Thank you so much for having me. All right, let's start at the beginning. I thought it was so interesting when I read this in your material that the plastic cafeteria lunch tray has not really changed at all since the 1940s. So you're a pediatrician. Explain why it's important to get plastic out of lunch rooms. Yes, absolutely. So I think over the past decade, we have realized that plastic's bad for the planet, but really over the past few years, we're getting kind of those red flags from major medical organizations. The Endocrine Society, the American Academy of Pediatrics, and the World Health Organization, because what they are finding is that the chemicals in plastic can impact children's health and all human health. The chemicals in plastic look like the hormones that we normally have in our body. And so they kind of mess up our normal system, and that's really important in kids because hormones help children grow and develop properly. And so when they're eating off of that plastic, they're exposed to those chemicals and it can really um, interfere with their health. All right, so let's talk about your 100% recycled stainless steel trays. Tell us about the benefits of using stainless steel trays. Yes, so I think one of the biggest benefits um, and recommendations from the American Academy of Pediatrics is, you know, try not to use plastic, but rather use glass or stainless steel to serve and store food. Um, and they, the reason they chose those materials is because of the safety profile. Stainless steel is inert. It, um, it doesn't interact with the food that your children are eating. It's why we usually see that in commercial kitchens and in the hospitals. Um, if you look around, it's the preferred material of choice. Um, it's also non-porous, so it doesn't have those small little kind of holes where bacteria can hide. So again, a prime choice for hospitals and commercial cafeterias. So from a health standpoint, it's a safer material. And then from an environmental standpoint, it's, you know, stainless steel is the most recycled material in the world, while only less than 10% of plastic is actually recycled. So better for the kids and better for the planet. All right, so you have your first school on board right here in Indianapolis, <laughs> the Orchard School. Um, they're pilot testing it. Tell us what you're learning in this pilot test and how it's opening the door to talk to other schools. Absolutely. I think for me as a pediatrician and as a mom, the best thing about this entire brand and particularly in the schools is how much the children love it and how much, you know, this one simple change is sparking so much conversation amongst students. So Yes, it's a healthier, safer alternative, but they're learning about the why behind the change, which is really why I launched this company. I never launched it as a business. I launched it as a solution and hopefully a movement. So I think for me, really understanding that the children love it, the staff find it really easy to use, it's like such a simple solution to such a big problem. So I hope that all the you know schools in the state and the country can adopt such a change. So the Orchard School is a private school, so I can hear public schools saying, uh, this doesn't fit mm -hmm. our budget. So is it a cost effective switch? Yeah, so we priced it specifically to be cost effective because we know that schools, so in general, there are 32 million schools, um, 32 million children enrolled in the National School Lunch Program. And if you divide, if you multiply that by 180 days of kind of single use plastic, that's a lot of waste and a lot of exposure. And those schools are spending a lot of money to constantly replenish that. And if you look at the schools that have piloted something like this in the past with just cutlery, they're already saving thousands of dollars within that first two years. So really long term, 
schools are going to save money. So that is our goal. Save schools money, decrease the impact of plastic on health, and decrease the impact of plastic on the planet. Yeah, I think I saw one of your trays is expected to last longer than 10 years, so that's yeah. a long time. We hope it's for generations. <laughs> so I, I know you're very passionate about changing the mm -hmm. system, making system changes. So you started with your home line, which yes. are these beautiful stainless steel dishware for the home. Now you're moving into cafeteria. Tell us about your vision. You have an even bigger vision beyond school cafeteria. Cafeterias. I do. You know, for me, the answer is for me, Ahimsa is really the solution to plastic wherever children dine. And so they dine at home, they dine at school, but we also go to amusement parks and there is just tons of plastic and trash and, and that's all ending up in the landfill. Restaurants, museums, we've got the biggest children's museum in the world right here in Indianapolis. And so if everyone can adopt such a small change, we can really move the needle pretty quickly in the fight against plastic. I know you're getting a lot of national media attention. <laughs> uh, you've filmed a segment for GMA, hasn't aired yet. Uh, tell us about some of the national attention that you're starting to get on the media. Yes, it has been, you know, pinch me moments left and right. So from celebrity endorsements, from you know Jessica Alba and Gail Simmons, who's on Top Chef, um, all the way to being in Parents Magazine and national TV shows, I think what's really exciting for me um, is that people are embracing the change. They recognize that there is a big problem and there are simple solutions and that if everyone does just their small little part, we can make the big change pretty fast. And so, um, you know, this small little company here in Indianapolis uh, can, I hope, lead the way nationally in a movement against plastic. And only a few seconds left, but and this connects to your heritage too, uh, from India, and you're saying India is doing this. So explain how India kind of connects to what you're doing. Absolutely. I grew up on stainless steel at the dining table. Anytime I go to India, there are cafeterias, there are restaurants, there are hotels, there are dining tables, all have stainless steel. And so it's really a cultural norm in India and many parts of the world. We've just chosen plastic at some point in that transition, there was a time before that Americans really did eat off of metal and glass. And so um, the hope is that we can kind of transition back to the more sustainable, safe material like other parts of the world. All right. And thank you for being on the show today. I know you just got, uh, you're going to be in Bye Bye Baby and also remind me of the other one. Nordstrom. Nordstrom, Nordstrom and you. Bye Bye Baby. All right. Yes. Well, congratulations on that for your home line. We'll be watching your cafeteria line. Gary Beck.